would think that in this piece of wrapping paper stuck on the wall with tape lies so much potential. I'm Jen, and I'm going to say a couple of words about the vision board. What is a vision board? That is any surface, be it digital or physical, in which you can gather your wishes, your desires, your goals, and visualize these. It's very important that you also have this in a place that you see on a daily basis. I'll tell you why in a second. The vision board is just one of the many tools that we at TTS have gathered into our collection of learning design cards. And the vision board is my personal favorite. I can tell you from experience that using a vision board is going to make your life better. My personal story with the vision board, I started about a year and a half ago using them at a time when I was really unsure about my career path. And um, I just one day took some sticky notes and started writing down some criteria for the job, stuck them all up on my vision board, was able to prioritize, cluster, I came up with five core criteria for my future job. Within four months of doing that, I had the job that I wanted and was very happy, and that job fulfilled all of those criteria. How did that happen? Is that magic? No, it's a very simple mechanism. Very simple concept. Um, it's just the fact that putting these things on the wall or on your computer, looking at them on a daily basis, makes you very clear about your goals so that you can pursue them, so that you can take the concrete action in the real world to make them happen. Very simple and very powerful. And I encourage you to do it right now. All you need is a piece of paper and some tape and maybe some sticky notes if you have them or you can find some sort of substitute, just do it. There are many, many sources out there online about how to get started, but I'm gonna share with you right now my three tips that I find most important. Number one is use drawings or pictures for your vision board, because trust me, it's much nicer to look at something like this rather than just the word every day. The images are powerful. The images are what conjure up the emotions in us, which are going to motivate us to do things in the real world. So very important, use pictures. Tip number two is look at it at least once a day. Very important. My vision board is next to my bed. I can't avoid seeing it on a daily basis. That is central. And keep it brief. If you're going to write words in your vision board, which um, I would recommend doing personally, some people don't, some people only use images, but if you're gonna use words, then keep them brief, no writing novels on your vision board because you're not gonna read that anyway. That's it from my side. Good luck with making your vision board and have a really wonderful day.